Good morning. Well, I haven't come to you to give you a takeaway because I've been kind of on lockdown at home. My husband had surgery and we've just been taking a season where we're just getting him well and just staying at home. And I'm actually working on book number three and four in the seven book series from the prayer scripts. But I wanted to share with you about something that I just saw yesterday that was just eye-opening. It's a great takeaway. Okay, so I was reading yesterday in Hebrews, and in Hebrews 6, 13 through 15, you know, we talk about that um, God promised to Abraham not only to bless him and to multiply him, um, but it said, and so after Abraham patiently endured, he obtained the promise. So I know God was kind of seeking me saying, Michelle, you got to be a little bit more patient. Even my husband said, you're not quite so patient with me. Give me some, you know, give me some patience here. And then I walked in my kitchen. And of course, I've shared this before. James 1, 4, it says, if you let patience work, the outcome will be good. And then God brought me full circle around to Hebrews 10, 36, which is one of my very favorite verses. And it says, for you have need of patient endurance to bear up under difficult circumstances without compromising so that when you have carried out the will of God, you may receive and enjoy to the full as what is promised. So again, today, whatever you're believing for, whatever promise it may be slow in getting there, patiently endure and you'll receive that promise. It said again, Abraham patiently endured and he obtained the promise and that's for us too. So have a great day. Enjoy your time. Say a little prayer for us. We're doing good. It's getting better and just enjoy your day.